Hey, it's Pulse here for Pony DJ, and uh, I want to talk a little bit about USB drives because quite often guys are saying, oh man, record box exports really slow. And truth be told, that's not why. It's all to do with your USB drive. So I've got a few here um, lying out from one of my old favorites, the Patriot Rage XT. That's a 32 gig USB 2 drive. Uh, through my new favorite ones, the uh, SanDisk Extreme Pro USB 3.0 and the Corsair GTX. Both of these are USB 3 drives. Uh, the Extreme Pro now has a 3.1 version, uh, which is a little bit faster, but I want to first start with these guys down here. Now, these are promotional drives. Uh, you can see these are the ones that you might have picked up at one of our trade shows, um, one of our really old ones sold that the logo scratched off, or the Crystal Drive that everyone is ooing and aahing about because it's got the record box logo on it. These drives, honest to God, they're garbage. Just don't even bother using them. They're good for looks, and that's about it. So we're left with those that are commercially available. Now these run the range, these guys here are all 128 gigabyte and they run the range from about 25 bucks up to when I got it, it was about $100. So not inexpensive, but also not gonna break the bank if your job relies on you DJing, having um, performance, you know, reliability. And let's just say that time is money and I don't have time to sit around for some of these to export while others are going to take much less time. So what we're going to do is run them all through Rekordbox, exporting the exact same playlist. And you'll see just how big a difference it can make between a cheap drive and an expensive drive. So let's take a look. Here we are in Rekordbox 5.1.1 and I'm going to be exporting this playlist of 32 tracks, which totals 293.3 megabytes out to these USB drives. Now the source of these tracks are all on an external solid state drive, which is where I keep all my music. So let's begin with the Patriot Rage XT 32 gigabyte. Now again, this is a USB 2 drive, but it was very performance oriented for its time. It has dual channel memory. Uh, it should be a, a, at least a good benchmark for a good USB 2 device. Next up, we have the PNY 128 gig USB 3.0. Next, we have the Transcend 128 gig USB 3 drive. And while this is exporting, what I want to mention is that one of the reasons that these exports are slow is it's not just exporting the large audio files, but it's also having to write a whole bunch of small 4K files to the drive. Now, this is the data for the waveform, as well as the database metadata, uh, the artwork. These are a bunch of small files, and USB drives are notoriously slow at writing a lot of small files. So that will be what plays the biggest difference in these USB drives. And here we have the Lexar. Now we move on to the SanDisk. Now both the SanDisk and the Corsair GTX are SSD based chipset controllers. So that means that the drive control, the memory control is based around a solid state hard disk uh, drive manager. Now you can see these write significantly faster than uh, the other drives so far. And also their read speeds reflect that same performance. And finally, the Corsair GTX. Now you can see significantly faster than the less expensive PNY. Um, now I should point out that all of these drives have been formatted to FAT32. Uh, they were all master boot record blank drives before they started. So you can tell that there is a performance difference in a higher cost drive. Now I'm doing this with a relatively small 32 tracks, 293 megabytes, but that difference in time is compounded over the amount of, of export that you've got. So let's export this Beatport folder to uh, the, both the Corsair GTX and to the slowest, the PNY, just as an example. Now this is 199 tracks totaling 6.5 gigabytes. Now there's a lot of wave, uh, wave files in here or uh, uncompressed files, so that's why it's a little bit larger. But I just want to give you a, a more extreme example of how a high performance drive versus a low performance drive can make a big difference. So let's start with the Corsair. 
even to the fast drive, that took a couple of minutes to export. Let's see how we do when we export over the PNY. All right, here we go. Hope you've packed a lunch. And it's finally completed. So as you can see, it does pay to have a faster drive because you're not sitting around and waiting. And the other thing you're gonna get is reliability. Now, all of these will have the performance to be able to read at least four uncompressed tracks to be able to play across the link to four players at the same time. However, that doesn't mean much if you're sitting around and waiting forever for all of your tracks to be exported and updated, that kind of things. So the Corsair GTX and the SanDisk Extreme Pro USB 3.3.0, 3.1, uh, those would be my two recommended, my top picks for uh, drives. Uh, I don't recommend some of the cheaper ones, certainly nothing you could pick up at Staples or Office Depot, that kind of place. Get a performance drive, shop Amazon, there's tons of deals on there all the time, but pick something up that's gonna save you time and will give you a reliable quality playback device. If you have any other questions, post a comment below or visit us at forums.pioneerdj.com. Be happy to answer any more questions you might have.